An Israeli company says it will launch a lunar spacecraft in December to land on the moon in February. If it works, Israel would become the fourth country to put a spacecraft on the moon. Our Area 11 Walden was at the announcement ceremony. He followed this report a short time ago. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I am dressed as one to prevent any risk of contamination from me to the extraordinarily sensitive equipment behind me. This is Israel's first lunar lander, scheduled to land on the surface of the moon in February of 2019 after a launch at the very end of the year. This would be a crowning achievement for Israel, being only the fourth country to land anything on the surface of the moon. But this machine is going to be doing some very basic science once there, only a few experiments about the moon's magnetic field. However, people People behind this project say its real value is in, is in inspiring future generations of Israelis to go into scientific research. I think we've got to do more for science, mathematics, engineering. I think this is where it's got to go. And this, I might like to make my little contribution to try and encourage education in this direction. Now, of course, only three other countries have been to the moon, the United States, Russia, and China, the United States being the only country to put a man on the moon. This is going to be a massive achievement for Israel. That is said to be an inspiring one, as well as a feat of the business world, because all these previous missions to the moon have been done via governments with massive government budgets and resources. This being the first time a private company has put a craft on the surface of the moon, having massive ramifications for the future of space travel. Uh, so it's happening in Israel, it's happening around the world, but actually getting to the moon is a huge achievement for a privately run enterprise. Um, so I think it's going to get a lot of attention worldwide, and I'm not sure what the ramifications are going to be, but I'm sure that we've got a lot of surprise in the future after we manage to land. Now, while Israel is one of the smallest countries to have its own domestic space program, it does not have a launching ground for any rockets big enough to reach the moon, so this will be launched from the United States on one of Elon Musk's rockets. With that in mind, it's still said to be a massive crowning and inspirational achievement for Israel, cementing it again as the startup nation, not just in Israel, but also in space. Ariel Levin-Waldman, I-24 News.